in this container I have the beans which were soaked ahead of time but now we have to cook the beans so we'll put the beans you can see what they look like at this point and some people might think they don't look very attractive or maybe they don't but don't worry we've got lots of things that we do with our soup and that's going to look very very different by the time we're finished so there's our soaked beans now we're going to add the turkey stock and the spices and it has to simmer for about an hour to let the beans cook and the spices that we put into it will mellow and give it a nice taste a bay leaf is a wonderful flavoring this will not dissolve down so you just want a piece of bay leaf because it's quite strong so that piece of bay leaf is enough if you remember you take it out before the soup is served a little bit more vegetable water and we're going to put this on the stove and it will simmer away for about an hour the beans and the stock have now cooked for about an hour so the beans are soft and ready now we can start to add some vegetables and it's going to cook again this is the place where you can use leftover vegetables you have to cook it enough to cook these vegetables because they're raw so we have raw celery carrots these are raw diced potatoes and raw onion onions a wonderful flavoring and I'm going to use the rest of the can of green beans now you'll notice the the color of the liquid is kind of brown you can use it like that a uh, one way of adding a different flavor and also camouflaging the color is to put in a small tin or some anyway tomato paste so now we're making it into tomato vegetable soup but it does add a, a nice interesting flavor and it camouflages the darker color of the vegetable water so whatever you happen to have in your refrigerator is what you put in stir it down till you can see the color changing as the, as the tomato paste works in we'll watch this as it's simmering it will have to simmer long enough to cook the vegetables if you were using pre-cooked ones and leftover ones at this point you would just have to add them and then as soon as they had come back to the boil you would be able to serve your soup but since these are raw vegetables we've got to give them some cooking time so we might want to watch the quantity of stock that's in our soup and we may want to add a little bit more vegetable water if the water goes down you can have thick soups or thin soups these are called stock soups if we wanted to really thicken it up even more we could take out some of this product put it through a blender so it purees all down and then put it back into the soup and we would have a thick stock soup rather than a thin stock soup so we'll take this back to the stove bring it back to a boil and let it simmer oh, half an hour anyway till the vegetables are tender.